Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. I'm seeing a lot of like <laughs> aces here, the lovers, the ten of cups, the knight of cups. I feel like that's going to be relevant, but we'll see. Um, can you just for please protect me and clear messages for Pisces. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I have always read tarot. <clears throat> just so you're aware. So let's see. Spirit, how does this person feel about Pisces? How does this person feel about Pisces? Oh, okay. So we got the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Lovers, and the Judgment. So you could be dealing with a Gemini um, or even another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, Pisces, there's someone who um, has their walls up right now but i also feel like they're not they're not giving up on this connection i feel like if you feel like they've given up um it could really feel like that right there's this nine of wands this wounded warrior energy where they could have their guard up right now maybe you're not speaking at the moment um but i feel like this person would feel like this would be a missed opportunity here with you pisces because they care about you so much if they haven't told you they love you i feel it um, they feel absolutely drawn to you here. This person wants another chance. We have the, the judgment card here, the card of second chances, right? This is someone who um, really can't deny how they feel about you, right? This is like a strong pull towards you. So again, even if you're not in contact right now, this person's not giving up. They, they want to come on in here. They want to offer their cup of love. They want to um, let you know how they feel. I feel like I feel like they they may have even had their guard up for a while. I'm gonna pull a card on that, but um, yeah, this person wants to come on in. They want another chance. I feel like they've had a wake up call here. So, you know, this separation I feel even served as um, if you are in separation with this person, served as a way for them to really think about this and and you know connect to themselves and say what do i want what do i want out of a connection ultimately you know um because sometimes when people come from a space of maybe not being in connections maybe this person was single for a long time or maybe they've come from a string of unsuccessful connections it can just feel like okay i don't like i don't even know what i want i don't even know what i need because um it hasn't been met right but I feel like this person has really taken the time to understand like what do, what do I want like they've really stripped down to the bare essentials of like what is important in a connection for me um, and these two angels showing up next to each other forgive me I can't I don't know which angels these are I'd have to look that up actually but just like this this raw energy like all of these figures are not clothes right it's all about coming undone maybe of what they thought they knew of what they wanted um really getting down to like i said like what like their core and like what they want and i feel like when they think of you they're they can be this raw person as well they can be their authentic self they can let down any mask any clothing they wear so to speak um <clears throat> and just be their genuine self here very powerful actually pisces you uh yeah, you changed it up for this person. So let's see about this Nine of Wands. What is this Nine of Wands? They're definitely guarding their energy. Yeah, they, okay, so two messages. They could be throwing themselves into work right now, 
right? They could actually be like a pretty high up in, in maybe they own a company or something like that. But I feel like this person is, um, I almost feel like trying to distract themselves here. But I also feel like they're working on how guarded they are, right? Because how they feel about you is they want a chance at this. They want to come in with their cup of love. They know that they'll, they know that if time, too much time passes and this opportunity is lost with you, Pisces, and even if this is not someone you're in separation with, um, this is like a brand new connection, maybe someone that you, because Pisces, you're very intuitive, someone that you have like an inkling, like has, you know, feelings for you. They know that if they don't go for it, they don't come in with this cup of love that they're going to look back and regret it, that they're going to look back and say, that was a missed opportunity. You know, I wonder how it would have turned out if I had have gone for Pisces, but how they, I mean, we'll see their actions and their intentions, but how they feel is they want to come forward. They want this chance here with you. Um, so they're working on their guardedness. They're working on putting those walls down. Um, but also I feel like they could be throwing themselves into work right now, um, even as like a method to like distract themselves. Um, I feel very matter of fact <laughs> when I'm sitting here giving this message to you, Pisces. I feel like that's how this person is. I feel like they're very matter of fact, right? So the thing is about emotions and these types of strong connections is that they're not logical, right? It's all about feelings. So I feel like this person could have been the type where they're trying to understand how, how strongly they feel about you with logic. And that could have resulted in them disconnecting right putting their putting their walls up because they're like this doesn't feel familiar this feels um uneasy in some ways uncomfortable even in some ways i think uncomfortable is the better word not uneasy um but this person i feel has again they've just they've really they're asking me to pull a card on judgment so i will but they've really had this like wake up call and they want this chance here with you um tell me about judgment please spirit thank you for the messages so far the five of pentacles so if this person abandoned the, the connection or they even have you know um fear of abandonment right and this stems from i mean there's research that argues it stems from many different things but what comes to mind for me is caregivers as a young child so being a this person could have been abandoned as a young child right this means like a parent um up and leaves um, the physical abandonment, but also emotional abandonment, abandonment, right? This could be that this person has lived with a parent who's just never been available emotionally. And they just kind of have always felt like out in the cold, like they are, um, you know, out here on their own. But I also feel like if this person abandoned you, abandoned this connection, left you feeling out in the cold, like you didn't know what was up or down with this person, they want another chance here. You're saying one more, one more for judgment, please spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. <clears throat> the chariot, cancer energy. Oh, and I'm seeing the hierophant. So it, this, they want to move forward here, right? But I do, I have to be real with you, Pisces. I, the chariot is, can go either direction, right? So I do feel like this person has been trying to think about it. They could, like this could have been a long separation period, or if this is someone you haven't been with yet, and again, you kind of have this feeling that they have feelings for you because you'll feel it too, Pisces, with that lover's energy. It goes both ways. Um, they're trying to understand which direction to take it here. But look at that. the Hierophant, the Two of Cups, the Four of Swords, the King of Cups. I'm telling you, this person, they want this with you, but they, they're thinking, they've been thinking about it, right? Um, but they want to move forward here, right? That when you get all these major arcanas like together over here, it's like th these are life changing circumstances, right? This is part of this person's soul's journey is to have this wake up call, realize what they want, right? Like strip down to that core self of who am I? What do I want? And I feel like you've been a real catalyst in that Pisces, um, even if you didn't know you were. Um, but let's see, this person could could be at a distance from you, like physically and come travel to come see you. I feel like they think about that. Um, but let's see their actions. What actions will this person take towards Pisces in the next two to four weeks? Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? Thank you for the messages so far. Look at that, wasn't I just calling these cards out? The King of Cups and the Magician. This person has deep, deep, deep emotion for you, right? The King of Love, the King of Cups, sorry, is the King of Love. There's deep, deep, deep emotion here. This person is, like I said, they're thinking about this a lot. They're trying to manifest this with you, right? Um, 
the, the king of cups is someone who can struggle with emotions at times though right and here's the thing we all can but i feel like again what's really coming through is that how deeply this person cares is not something they're used to so they almost feel like they're losing their footing like they don't know how to handle it right so they could have pushed you away they could have self-sabotaged us again they could have abandoned the connection they could have just ghosted they could have um you know i'm getting this energy of like one day like everything's good and the next day it's not and it's like what happened and i just feel like this person is coming to terms with how much they actually care um, and again, if, if this is not something that they're used to all the way from childhood, they're not used to like deep love, someone caring deeply for them, because um, I feel Pisces, you very much do. I don't feel like this person even knows how to receive that. Um, yeah, so they're thinking about this a lot. You're in their thoughts a lot. They're trying to manifest um, a, a coming together here. Look at that. What did I tell you? The Fool, Aries energy here. Sorry, we have Aries with the uh, Magician as well. So heavy Aries, but taking action, right? Aries is all about taking action. Um, taking that leap of faith here towards you. But look at this, seven, seven, two. So when my cards start to sync up, that's also Spirit's way of letting me know it's a significant relationship, right? Um, so look out for synchronicities. You're getting seven, seven. It's like this person is confused about how they feel. And so they put up a wall, right? They could have even blocked you. They, like they literally like I can't even look at Pisces pictures because it's too much um, but they're planning they're planning here right they want to take this leap of faith they could have even Pisces I have to be honest with you like during this if this is someone you've separated with or maybe you just haven't connected with just yet they could be exploring other options right and I almost feel like it's a way of them being like let me just make sure let me just make sure that you know this is actually how I feel with Pisces because there's no way um, and you might be sitting there like, well, if that's what you want to do, see you later then. I don't want anything to do with that. And that's fine. But uh, let me just pull on that seven of cups. To me, I'm getting more about confusion. They're confused about their emotions. So they put up this wall, right? Um, but they want to, at the center of it all, they want to take this leap of faith towards you. Let me pull on this seven of cups. Tell me about the seven of cups, please, spirit. I feel like they also wonder if you have other options. If there's someone else you might be interested in. Okay, so we're getting temperance the star and the six of pentacles so sagittarius aquarius energy yeah like i don't feel like there's other people here involved if you know there to be then take that but that's not the energy i'm getting i'm getting they're more confused about their emotions here they're trying to be patient they're trying to understand um they're hopeful for this connection i feel like they understand pisces that the effort the energy the time that they would need to put into this in order for this to work because every single relationship connection takes work um, they know that they're they're becoming aware that maybe if you did connect and they didn't give what they should have given you They know this They're very aware. So if you even had a conversation with them about, you know I don't feel like you're putting in the effort that you should be like where hello Where 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 am I on your priority list and this person, you know, just pulled back instead They know they know what they need to do here. There's a lot of healing going on here with this person, right? They're healing their confusion and I feel like this, this separation and being by themselves is, is helping them to do so. Um, so there's a need for patience here, Pisces. And I feel, it's not that you aren't already. <laughs> I very much can feel that. Um, but I feel like this person is hoping that you'll be patient with them, hoping that you will understand where they're coming from here. So expect them to take this leap of faith towards you. Tell me about the fool, please, Spirit. Again, a lot of these major arcanas coming out, right? Like this is, look at that. What did I tell you? Pisces, I'm telling you. This person is, oh, I got chills, Pisces. This per, Look at the Knight of Swords. This person's coming in. They want a, a brand new beginning here with you. So again, if this is someone you connected with in the past and it's been a separation period, they're coming back. If this is someone who um, you haven't connected with yet on a romantic level, but you have a feeling that there's something there, this person's finally gonna take that leap of faith because like there's so much emotion here. This person cares so deeply for you and this is new for them, right? But their love can't be contained anymore. They wanna offer you this brand new beginning here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So take it as it resonates for those who are like, I don't know who this could be. If, if there's no one on your mind that's coming to your mind when this reading is happening, then it's probably someone brand new, right? Aces bring new. Um, but if there's someone that 
particularly the title drew you in or just so far in the reading you're like i feel like it's go with your gut pisces go with your intuition i feel like it's so and so from my past that maybe we're in currently in separation your gut isn't gonna lie to you right oh look at that the hierophant again and the two of cups and like oh my goodness let's see this person's intentions what is this person's intentions with pisces please spirit <clears throat> Okay, we got the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. So you're getting the King and Queen of Cups here. So the King and Queen of Love are here, right? This is how this person feels. This is now their intentions. So how, again, I have to emphasize the King of Cups is someone who loves deeply but can struggle with their emotions at times, right? Doesn't always offer their cup of love. But this person's intentions is to be embrace that Queen of Cups. Right? So it's not about gender because we all have feminine, masculine energy, but embodying that feminine energy of, you know, being able to receive and give love. This is also a very intuitive, um, the most intuitive queen, right? So they know, this person knows intuitively that they are being drawn to you, right? Like you have the, <laughs> this is like, think of that perfect lovey-dovey I, I say perfect you know in quotations because nothing is really perfect but just think of that couple you might know or that you look up to in some way that you're like they're just so in love right like you can just feel it and it doesn't mean that they're kissing all, all the time or maybe they're just having fun but you can just see the love radiating from both of them like that's what I'm getting when I when I pick this up I feel like the two of you just love each other this person you know and I, I think it, it's going to grow to that I feel like that but that, that, that's the energy I'm getting here. That being said here, look, like this person is nervous. They can't stop thinking about this. They can't stop thinking about you, about this situation, about how they feel. I feel like they're staying up really late. I'm seeing like a TV, <laughs> you know, blaring and it's really dark. So this person could be up at night, you know, watching, watching TV just to keep themselves distracted. They might, they're not sleeping. Um, I feel like they can't let this go, right? I feel like they're waiting for a sign, either from you, I'm gonna pull a card on this, either from you or like even the universe of just like, what should I do, right? Like what, like what should I do in this situation? Tell me about the three of wands. They're waiting for something to happen here. Tell me about the three of wands, please. Oh my gosh, look at this, okay. So we got the devil, we got the ace of pentacles, the four of swords, and the tower. Look at all these major arcanas. Like this is life changing. Okay, so we have Capricorn Scorpio energy here. They're waiting for, for something to happen here. They're waiting for some, some big shift, right? I feel like they can feel it coming. There's some sort of release here with this devil energy. There's something being released. There's, again, you're getting an ace. There's a brand new beginning here. I'm gonna pull on this devil to try to understand it a little bit more. But I'm feeling very much so that whatever is going on, whether their their mindset currently is built on fear, maybe they are currently, you know, connected to maybe a karmic or some other blocking energy. This could be an outside energy again, or they're within their own mind, their their own energy. There's a release here. It's not working anymore, right? The tower is all about this has to change. And I feel like this person has been thinking about this. They know this. They understand this, but it's almost like they're waiting for it to happen. They're just like, okay, um, this big change that will, like it'll happen outside of me. And I think they're starting to realize like this is more about them. Like whether it's some again an outside energy they're connected to, or it's their own mindset. It's them. It's them that has to make this change here. Um, the tower is all about you know it's it's you get so uncomfortable that you have to you have to do it differently right like literally the, the universe comes in and sets your your not actually but sets your setting on fire so you have to jump out take that leap of faith that full energy right you have to because it's what you're doing isn't working anymore um let me just pull on this devil card spirit tell me about the devil please right away the eight of cups they're walking away from something that doesn't serve them anymore here right? Like this devil energy, this blockage. So this could be addiction. This could be 
Um, again, an outside, and I'm going to keep pulling, but this could be um, a mindset of fear, right? Anxiety about the connection. This could be having their walls up all the time. This could be another energy, another person. They're walking away from this. It's not serving them anymore. The Eight of Cups is all about walking away from something that emotionally does not serve you. You, you walk, you, the Eight of Cups, you walk away into your Nine of Cups, into your wish fulfillment, right? This person knows that what they're doing or what is blocking them is not working. It's not working anymore. Tell me more about the devil, please, spirit. Thank you so much for the messages so far, spirit. <coughs> Look at this, the queen of cups Ooh, and the lovers at the bottom. This person knows that they need to embody this. You're getting the queen of cups twice in their intentions. They're afraid they're afraid of this love. They're afraid of loving so deeply, of receiving love, of giving that love, of really being vulnerable, of opening up. Look at that Queen of Cups. She just embraces everything that is, right? She's, she's intuitive. She's passionate. She's compassionate. She's loving. She's generous. She, you know, uses her third eye to guide her, her intuition. This person is, ooh, I keep getting chills all up down my back. Oh my goodness the queen of love is here twice this this person is is fearful but they know that it's not working anymore they know they can't be scared anymore being scared of this kind of love especially as if because they haven't received it before you know and i'm strongly feeling from like early childhood this person could have been in you know really un, un um undesirable circumstances actually um where they weren't loved properly right? We can't, we can't, we can, but it's very difficult to show love that you've never even known before, right? Like how, how do you, it's like speaking a language you've never heard. How do you do that, right? And to the rest of us, and especially you Pisces, I feel like it could be like, well, that's a no-brainer, you know? Like you just love and you open up and you be vulnerable and you talk and you, but for this person, I feel like it's very scary for them. It's very, very scary for them. So there was, <laughs> You know, it's funny because I said the Eight of Cups walking into their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, they're walking into the Queen of Cups. They're walking into embracing this. You got this twice, two different decks. This person's intentions to love, to open up, right? To not let this fear block them anymore. Ooh, I love this for you, Pisces. And this person, I have to say, I feel like this is very, this is liberating. This is empowering for this person. I feel like um, this is huge. Yeah, this is huge. What is the potential outcome between Pisces and this person, please? So lots of water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, Sagittarius, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, uh, Aries, Leo. Yeah, but you notice there's not a lot of communication. So this person feels a lot deeper than maybe they even communicate, right? So they're really trying to embody this, this beautiful energy. And then I feel like the communication will, will come from that. But so far they're, they're gonna take this leap of faith towards you. They wanna do, they're, and here's the thing, Pisces, I, I hope I'm saying this in a way that comes off the way I'm receiving it. This person is doing this for themselves, right? Like they're overcoming this blockage for themselves. But they're doing it for you too, right? Like they're really wanting this with you. They're really seeing the potential in you, I feel, and this connection and and they're really grateful for the love you have offered them, even if it has just been as a friend. I'm getting that. Let's see, what's the potential outcome between Pisces and this person, please, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. Okay, I'm gonna put those back but these ones fell out. <clears throat> so we're getting the Magician again and the Page of Swords. So Aries energy here. So definitely manifesting here. Um, tell me more about the potential outcome. Thoughts becoming things, right? Like understanding we are powerful beings. We can manifest, have whatever we want here. Um, it's just a matter of going for it, thinking that it's already ours and then taking um, inspired action. So we're getting justice and the eight of wands. So I, I definitely do feel like um, 
first of all, there's a curiosity about this connection, right? But I do feel like this person could check you out on social media, maybe see what you're up to, what have you. But there's a balance here, Libra energy. There's balance, and there's lots of communication coming in. So that's what I was feeling like. I feel like they're trying to embody this first, and then all the communication is coming in here with that Eight of Wands. Fast movement. So this could go from, if this is someone brand new, you know, this is how strongly I feel, let's be together. Like, let's be partners. Um, you know, if this is someone you had connected with before, coming back in, you know, there's no, there's a sense of starting fresh, but there's also this sense of, how do I put that? Picking up where you left off at the same time, right? Like starting fresh, but also realizing like, okay, if we've already built something for say six months or a year, or what have you before, we know each other right? Like we're connecting on in a different way now, but you know, I'm ready to move in or I'm ready to, to be together right away, or I'm ready to take that vacation we never took or what, like that's kind of the energy I'm getting here. Um, so expect lots of communication here. Anything else for the potential outcome, please spirit. Okay. So we're getting the ace of wands, the eight of pentacles and the hanged man. So Pisces energy here. Um, yeah, so you're, you're getting three aces, right? Ace of cups, ace of pentacles, ace of wands. So there's, th th it's brand new, right? Um, again, fresh start for, with past person or brand new with someone brand new here. But there's a lot of, <laughs> there's, there's definitely a lot of uh, physical attraction between the two of you here. You could even work with this person or meet them at work or something like that. Um, but I also feel like this person is changing their perspective on how they physically connect with people because this could have been someone who um, easily connected physically with others, right? And, and, and left it at that and didn't really go deeper. So I feel like they're, they're understanding more. Like I'm getting this energy of this person could, or maybe this is you Pisces or both of you, doing the research on the fact that when you engage physically with someone, you know, when you when you do that, you're exchanging energy, right? So I feel like they they've been doing research on, okay, if I'm just going around, you know, uh, doing it with all these different people, I'm giving and receiving all of this energy all the time. And they're like, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to just be throwing out energy and receiving whoever's energy, right? Like that, that's, that's the best way I can put it. Um, so seeing differently here about uh, the connection itself in that way. We got the Six of Pentacles and the Fool. So Aries energy again, the Fool again, and the Six of Pentacles again. So that's their actions, and now this is the potential outcome. So it's like this person knows, the again, they have to put in this energy, this effort, um, this time. They want to build this, I feel, with you. So again, there's this energy of leaving the past in the past, especially if you have history together in terms of, you know, let's not rehash. But at the same time, it's also we've, we have built a foundation in a way. Like if we already know each other, we don't need to spend six months in the get to know each other phase. Like that, I, I hope I'm conveying that right because that's how it's coming off to me. I feel like there's one more for the potential outcome. <coughs> Thank you. The Ace of Cups again. You can't make this up. You got the you got the Fool, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups all in this person's actions, and now it's in the potential outcome again. I'm telling you, there's there's this person can't hold back their love, whoever this is, new or old, they cannot hold it back. Brand new. You got two Aces in the outcome as well. So very passionate connection, but but deeper than that. This is what I was. This is what I was kind of picking up on it's like it's not just about the physical right I feel like the physical is really good but it's not just about that beautiful and it's interesting because I feel like you're like again this person's third eye is really opening and their heart is really opening as like depicted in these pictures I feel like they're using their intuition and they're opening up more okay so let's keep going here. Pisces. Spirit messages for Pisces, please. Thank you. Thank you for the messages so far. So we got mules. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. I feel like you could have felt like this. <laughs> 
Um, we also got the pig, beware of greed. Right away, the devil was looking at me when I saw that. So that could have been their energy with you before. Again, this could be an outside person. Um, take it as it resonates. We got younger man, dealings or relationship with the younger man. So that could be you, that could be them, that could be that. I just, yeah, I feel like that for some of you, that will be a person that they're stuck to. Look at that, marriage. So as soon as I said that, it could be a person. So they could be married to this energy that's blocking, but I'm also getting this is what this person wants with you. Thank you. Fly, a period of ill health, depression. Messages for Pisces, please, Spirit. Thank you. Boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Thank you. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. And ear, good news. Okay, I feel like there's one more. There it is. Scissors, a disappointment in some affair. I honestly feel like whatever they're cutting out, if it is another energy. It doesn't have to be romantic, but it could be. Uh, spirit messages for Pisces, please. Thank you. My discord among friends or family. So again, if that's firecracker excitement. Oh, we got success. I'm not going to take all these, but I will shuffle again. It's just for Pisces, please. Thank you. I love that these cards are so jumpy. <laughs> we got cat, a two-faced friend. So that could be that double energy. Um, oh, okay. We got sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Mm -hmm. We got moon, changes in your life. And then we got weeping willow, family sorrow. So that's... That could have been why they disconnected from you, Pisces, but they didn't tell you. Maybe they were going through some family things or something like that. Something they felt tied to. We've got self-indulgence, self-worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Yeah. we got sunglasses, watching, looking, perception, stalking. I definitely feel like this person's keeping an eye. That could be you on them too, though. Could go both ways. We got abundance, positive mindset, manifest gratitude and bliss, blessings. I'm telling you, there's there's an awareness that this person knows that they can manifest, right? Um, and that might be an obvious thing to say, but it's true. We can we can all manifest. Um, thoughts become things. Whatever you focus on will come about. We are getting girl with a snake, charmed or used, enable boundaries. So I'm gonna pull a card on that, but let's see. Anything else? else for Pisces okay we got passion insane chemistry sparks and having fun equal interest burning desire and then we got partying time with friends having fun happily single living in the moment so again like this could be you right now this could be them right now kind of not telling you how they actually feel what have you um, take it as it resonates let's see tell me about this girl with a snake please spirit thank you yeah so, okay, Knight of Wands. So if this person was, okay. Yeah, someone was inconsistent. If they were inconsistent here, I feel like it could have been because they established something. And look at that, the devil's on the bottom. They established, there was already something established here with a queen of swords. It doesn't have to be a female, right? Someone could have been like in their ear being like, Pisces is no good. Or like, why are you with Pisces? Or you know, um, you don't need Pisces or something like that for their own gain, I feel, is what I'm getting. Yeah, this person could have been like heavily influenced by someone here, maybe even a friend who was like, let's just go party instead or something like that. Um, again, doesn't have to be a female, but something that's been long, long established between this person, so a family, friend, so maybe someone they work with, um, Take it as it resonates. Let's see. Messages for Pisces, please, Spirit. Whoa. I regret lying to you. So whatever this person was not truthful about, 
I hide behind material things. I feel like, whoa, okay. I'm just gonna put all those back. <laughs> Clearly this person has a lot to say. Um, okay. I feel you leaving me behind. So again, if, if, if that is what has gone on here, you connected and now disconnect with this person, they can feel it. Like I feel you have a very strong bond with this person. Um, you pick up on each other's energies. I couldn't let you get close to me. This is what I'm saying. I feel like they, this kind of love was not something that they knew or that they're used to. I am becoming a better person. Mm -hmm. Healing. I mean, we're all healing if we think about it, but I knew exactly what I was doing. And we both know I am not the one for you. So they could have told you that. You could feel that way now that this is all done and said. Like, um, I remember every detail of that day. And I'm going to do one more. I want you. See, because I feel like they weren't. I'm going to pull on this. We both know I'm not the one for you. Tell me we both know I am not the one for you, please, spirit. you for the messages so far so I feel like this is something they could have maybe said to you in the past or getting the queen of pentacles I feel like this person doesn't feel uh, they could have felt like it was too much responsibility is what I'm getting um, at, at one point too much responsibility to maintain this connection I'm getting the lovers Four of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person just held back. I feel like they could have just, again, it was just like this deep, deep, deep connection here. Confused about their feelings here. Yeah, they held back. I feel like they could have let their ego get in the way. They could even be doing this thing right now, Pisces, where they're like, I'm single, I'm good, I'm fine. I'm not even worried about Pisces. I'm, I'm living life. I'm having the time of my life. That's not what's actually happening. It's not how they feel. So let's see. Spirit messages for Pisces. Remain positive. Beautiful. Peaceful resolution. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you were asking yourself a yes, no question. And if you believe, again, there's that manifestation, right? That magician energy. If you believe, the situation will improve. So if you're sitting there worried, Pisces, this person's never going to come back. They're never going to message me. They're done. They, they are, uh, they've moved on, what have you. And you're putting that energy out there, out there, out there. Even if they feel this strongly about you, they're feeling that energy too. And it's like pushing it away, right? If you want this and you feel this and you feel this connection the way this per I feel like you do, right? The lover's twice here. Um, thoughts become things. Just remember that. Um, spirit messages for Pisces. Thank you. We got nothing is yet set in stone. That's what I'm saying. There's whatever the situation currently is, is it's not, yeah, it's not set in stone. You are good enough. Virgo energy. That's a beautiful message. Your hard work is paying off. Capricorn energy. So just for Pisces, please, Spirit. Thank you. <clears throat> Your dreams need a practical plan. And believe in the impossible. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Okay, Spirit, messages for Pisces, please. Messages for Pisces, please, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. A very specific card that wants to come out for you Pisces I can feel it <laughs> messages for Pisces please thank you okay we got why oh I am seeing the fates at the bottom why number 31 okay so let's read this for you
Subti sometimes subconsciously denying the truth may drive you toward a specific outcome that actually aligns with an intention hidden from your awareness. For example, you may want to be prominent in your profession, but your desire is not really about sharing your talents, but about making yourself feel better because fame would cause people to admire and, and approve of you. Or you may want to reunite with the partner who rejected you because you believe that your love continues to be strong. Excuse me, but deep down, what you really desire is to have the last word with that person. Now is the time for deep soul searching of the why that drives your choices. What you uncover will set you free and bring you ever closer to the happiness you seek. Mm -hmm. There's that like stripping down I was talking about. This could be you too, Pisces. Like why, what is, yeah, that's a really <laughs> simple but powerful question. So let's see. So these could be initials of um, you, this person, maybe if you do know that there's a third energy involved in some way, um, take it as it resonates. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got B, A, D, O, I, S, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, so I do hope something here resonated with you, Pisces. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. Love and light.